<laughs> What's better than two wheels? One wheel. I'm so excited to try this because I've never ridden a one wheel. Um, this is the Pint X, so it's the smaller brother of the Pint, or not the Pint, it's the, uh, the GT. Ah, uh, it has double the range of the old Pint, uh, up to 18 miles per hour, that's 30k for you metric folks. And, uh, it will prove to be a challenging ride, I'm sure. But let's, uh, let's open up, see what's inside. <laughs> what is the X Factor? Life is about to get more awesome. I sure hope so. It's got that new rubber smell. What, what sort of accessories could they include with this thing? Ooh, stickers. Love me some stickers. These are vinyl cut decals. Uh, owner's manual. Uh, I will definitely be flipping through this before I risk life and limb. Looks like this is the basic charger. Uh, they do have an ultra charger, which reduces the charge time to just under two hours. But uh, this on its own, I think is three hours, 45 minutes from a, from a dead battery. And then we have the unit itself. Oh, she is hefty. Oh my gosh. There's a handle? Oh, there is a handle. It's so handy. Oh, that is an absolute unit. First glance, it looks like brushed aluminum, but I doubt it is. It's probably plastic. But I can appreciate that attention to detail. It's very dusty. We have a 10 and a half inch by 4.5 by 6 tire. I don't know exactly what those mean besides 10 and a half inch. So this tire is half an inch uh, narrower and an inch taller. It's 27 pounds. 27 I mean, you can make a bike a lot lighter than 27 pounds, but this has a motor. 750 watt motor? Because anything bigger than 500 watts in Canada requires a license and insurance, I think. Uh, all I know is it's super illegal to ride this on any public street in Canada. Uh, or at the very least in Vancouver. Let's look at the bottom down here. So we have two huge pads, and I'm assuming these will get really banged up. It doesn't even look like this has been ridden, so I don't know what you're talking about, Jono, saying this has been opened before. So it is a uh, Bluetooth connected device, so I think the next step is to turn it on. There is a button. Yeah? Oh, we got light. Okay. And I guess we gotta open the app now. I mean, I see XR, I don't know what those are, and I see Pint. I'm gonna just go with Pint. See how it goes. Power up, power up your board. We did that. Always wear a helmet. Engage the foot pad. Oh, they want us to stand on it already. Well, uh, uh, yeah, we'll give you some of the, the techs and the specs. Um, this guy runs in around $1,400, so that's $350 more than the standard Pint. Uh, but it does go faster and it does have much more range. I think it tops out around 18 miles on this guy. So that's a good distance. I could commute on this. I don't think I'd want to, but I could. Um, there's no fender here, which uh, seems mildly dangerous, but the, the gap between the wheel and the board is, is pretty small. So I wouldn't feel like your, your foot's gonna get sucked in. So that's good. I'm sure you can get a fender that bolts onto this. You can't customize them. Oh, these fantastic, you can customize them. Uh, it is tail heavy on the battery side. So underneath this pad, we have a, a huge, I think it's lithium ion, not lithium polymer. Okay, that's a lot of heavy metals. It's a heavy battery. Uh, up front, we have the controller. So as far as I'm aware, this is the ESCs that control the motor and then the actual brain box that you talk to with your, your phone. And, and it has a accelerometer, I'm assuming, in here that tells you how far you're leaning. Uh, it has four what they call shaping modes. And a, a shaping mode is kind of like a PID control loop. It translates what you input into your output. So if you want it to be super aggressive, you can change your shaping mode. I don't know what they're called just yet, but we'll find it in the app, I'm sure. And uh, you can set how aggressive you want this to be. On the XR, the big brother, you have five shaping modes and you can customize it. So if you're very particular or like you ride only in sand or something like that, you can set it up to be just so. Why would you get this over the GT? Well, uh, presumably because it's way cheaper. It's like $800 cheaper. Um, the GT does have a little bit more off-road chops. It's got more clearance angle, like uh, departure and, and all that jazz up front. A little speed and battery, of course. Uh, the GT goes an extra two kilometers or two miles an hour faster, 20, 20 miles, which is like 34 kilometers an hour. And I don't know about you, but going 34 kilometers an hour on one wheel <laughs> sounds terrifying. <laughs> Okay, what's in the owner's manual? What do you think? What's the first page? I think that's important. Welcome 
to the revolution. You're the very proud new owner of a, <laughs> of a one wheel pint. Oh, I get to lean on someone. Slowly come up to balance, so get up onto the balance. And then once you're up on a level, the controller will take over and kind of keep it level, I'm assuming. Uh, warnings, yep, that's a good second page. Uh, risk of death or serious injury. I hope none of those happen today. Oh, look at this guy. That's gonna be me. <laughs> wait, wait. Oh, yeah, yeah, I can do that. Bumpers, uh, so these are, bumpers are replaceable. They're wear and tear items, and they seem to be pretty easy to take off as far as I've seen. It's just four screws on this front one, and the back one looks to be also four screws. You know what? I'm done with instructions. Wait a second. What about today's sponsor, Dream? The DreamBot L10 Pro is a robo vacuum that features slam tech and LiDAR to map your rooms in 3D for precise navigation. Really important since, you know, you move stuff around. When partnered with this intelligent object recognition and avoidance, you can be sure that it'll find all of the dirt without falling down the stairs. With 4000 PA suction, a 150 minute ultra long runtime, and built in mop functionality, it'll clean every corner of your house with ease. Don't want it to clean certain areas? Use the app to choose a routine that works best for you. So check out the DreamBot L10 Pro today and for a limited time only get 25% off using the link in the video description. First step was to put on all the safety gear. So I do have pads under these jeans, helmet, I have gloves I'll put on, but phone first. Uh, we have to actually pair it. So engage the, the front foot pad has a sensor on each side. It's like giving you instructionals. There's videos, that's neat, I guess. Oh, you can't skip them, that's cool. Digital shaping, let's ride. Okay, location, sure. There it is, found it. Okay, activating, 33%. Simple stop enabled, regen. Let's try redwood, whatever the heck that means. I don't know. It's, uh, 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 okay, yeah, that's fair. This is surprisingly easy. It's pretty stable. Whee. Yeah, Redwood's pretty chill. I feel like I need to hit some top speeds already. Oh boy. Oh, the, uh, the braking is like, it's good, but it's, <laughs> wasn't ready for it. I had, the, I had the go, I didn't have the stop. Okay, let's try hopping back up on it and Oh, okay, so like once you tip up then the like controller hops in and it's like okay. We need to establish level. Okay. Here's the pose It's not scary N at no point was I afraid of this. Okay, we're gonna go to Pacific X this, Wow, this feels immediately different. It's much less lean forward Okay, that's like that's enough speed <laughs> You do not need to go faster than that. Okay, do we, ha we have to hit the top speed, don't we? The people want to see it. Okay. Okay, let's just change the riding mode one more time. There's elevated X and skyline X. Skyline? Skyline GTR. Oh yeah, that's got beans. This ground is very unstable. Or if not flat. Oh, go on the gravel? Okay. It'll do it. Sick. <laughs> All in, this thing's cool. I, I am by no means an expert, I'm not a Wren, but uh, I get it. If I had 1400 bucks, I would buy one. But I hope you liked my short circuit and I hope you like short circuit. Get subscribed, follow us for more uh, fun outdoor tools. I think we have the, uh, the XR coming in? The GT, that's right. So we have the bigger version of this coming in. Um, comment down below if you want to see that and uh, have a beautiful day.